Hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be answering some questions I received about how to get started into go-kart racing. Now, I get questions every now and again and I answer them, whether they be in the comment sections or private messages on my social medias. I've been talking to YouTube user Whiskey Love in the comment section and I gave him my email address and I said, hey, if you ever have any questions, shoot them my way. I'll do my best to answer them. And he asked me four questions that I thought were, one, really good questions, and two, questions that I should share publicly on a video because I feel like they're questions that either I've been asked before or questions that I was asking when I got started into go-kart racing. So without further ado, let's jump into these four questions about how to get started into go-kart racing. How much does a pre-owned Margay LO206 K3 run um, cost roughly? Uh, so you can get a brand new one for $4,500 before tax. But the best times to buy a pre-owned cart is one, after a big major event. Margay will sell arrive and drive packages and then they'll turn around and sell the cart. So you can get a cart that's basically been ran for a weekend for a couple hundred dollars off of what a retail brand new cart is. And they're essentially brand new carts that have just been you know, ran for one weekend. So that's a great deal to go after when uh, if you're looking to get you know in the middle of the season but if you have some time on your hands uh, wait till the end of the season uh, they have a small business Saturday deal they'll be promoting it on their Facebook page once it comes closer towards the end of the season but basically they'll have a showroom full of pre-owned go-karts that you know some will have one race weekend on them some might have a full season on them or more and that's when you can really take advantage of super savings and they'll also do some bundle deals where you can be able to get a cart and a cart stand and a micron all together in a package for a really good price so between big major event like after one of a, a quincy or a rock island or an indy or the small business saturday is your two best opportunities to take advantage of some really good savings on a pre-owned K3 cart. How do they determine what class you race in? I'm 5'10 and around 200 pounds. Hope I'm not too fat to go racing. Um, no, you are not. You are actually at a pretty ideal range, I would say personally, um, to go racing. Um, so for adults, and I'm uh, he, he is an adult he clarified in his email so that's where I'm going to focus in on there's three different classes for adults in the ignite series there's uh, masters heavy and senior I run in senior and the and the difference here is I'll go through real quick so masters is for 35 years and older um, and your overall weight between you and the go-kart is 370 pounds ignite senior is 15 years and older and it's 360 pounds you in the go-kart. Ignite Heavy is 15 years and older, and it's 400 pounds you in the go-kart. I weigh 145 roughly, and I have about 54 pounds of weight on my go-kart. That doesn't include the fuel that I have in there, so that's another couple pounds. So, you know, doing the math on screen real quick, this is what my setup looks like, but um, it seems like and some people might disagree with this, but I feel like the more weight that you have on your body, the better it is, because um, you can actually move that weight around during a race. You can move forward in the seat, put more weight to the front tires in a certain situation, whereas when you have all the weight mounted on the cart, it's not really flexible. It's, you're kind of stuck with whatever setup you have. So, But that's, that's how they determine what class you'd be running in in the Ignite series. Now, the final two questions here there's some gray area. This is where I feel like there's not either a good job promoting it or nobody really talks about it. So I'm gonna do my best of kinda discussing this and uh, try to give you at least a good answer or, or point you in the right direction. The third question here is, is roughly how much does it cost to run a 206 per year? Now it really just depends on how much you maintenance the go-kart. Now, I'm not gonna go into details, super specific details, but obviously, after X amount of you know times you go out on track, you're gonna wanna do an oil change, that's gonna cost money. You wanna go through and replace the clutch springs and shoes, that's gonna cost money. The fuel line will need replacing after a while. Um, 
And some people, you know, they don't really understand how to, to maintenance their cart fully. And that's, that's part of the deal. This is a beginner level racing experience. So there's, there's people out here that don't necessarily know the whole entire, the book cover to cover on how to maintenance the go-kart. And I am one of those people. The carburetor still seems like a very mysterious thing on the go-kart that I'm not, you know, fully aware of. Um, I went specifically to a couple different people and I was waiting on a response from some of them. Um, so shout out to Micah Floretta. Me and him go way back in the rental series. He races, he's been racing an Ignite cart for as long as I can remember. And, um, and he said in his message here, now this is just an opinion, this is just one guy talking on here, but he says to run at a, sh or excuse me, to run at the sharp end of the grid all season, I would probably say 300 to $400. That's oil, clutch springs, clutch shoes, a new head halfway through the season, maybe an air filter or carb jets, but you could legit just change the oil and run all year reliably, but not very quickly. So. It just goes to show, I mean, maybe in your first year you might be super cheap because you're not sure what you need to be maintaining, but then once you figure out, oh, this is making me super fast when I when I do this adjustment and, and clean this up or do this. Um, so yeah, that's that's probably the best way I'm gonna be able to answer that question. I mean, he says three to $400. If you're just changing oil, that's you know $100 maybe. And if you're going through and replacing your springs or, or shoes a lot more frequently and, and, and really digging into the engine, you might be up to the six and $700 range. It's very flexible, very flexible, which, you know, you may not be competitive, but it's a good thing for a man on a budget like myself, part-time job, full-time college student. If I can't afford doing a, a maintenance, like a certain maintenance thing this month, then I'm just not gonna, I'll wait till next month. And I'll still be able to have a cart that's running sharp, but uh, maybe not be a, a podium contending go-kart. The fourth and final question is, is it possible to get sponsors and what do they help you with? Yes, it's possible to get sponsors. Um, some people out there, they might have a best friend that owns a business, so they throw them all the money they need and they can run the season with no costs. But that's in a fairy tale land. Um, it's possible. It's, it's, it's difficult, but it's possible. Um, a majority of people like Zach Buchanan, he's got like maybe like five, six, seven sponsors. He's got the logos on the side of the cart and they help him pretty decently. Uh, myself, I have three, four, five sponsors um, and they were all low value sponsors. Now, that sounds like I'm kind of knocking on my sponsors, but in reality is, is like in a low cost karting situation, I take whatever I can get. So, I mean, I had the money to cover maybe half of my season of entry fees. And it's just go-kart racing. Uh, it's not saying you can't get sponsors. And the thing is, is like how I go about getting sponsors, first thing I would do is go through your friends lists and, and your close connections and acquaintances and business friends and whoever and see if there's somebody out there that you know is a higher up in a business, an owner of a small business, whatever, and try to get fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, and just put a, like get someone to make a sticker, put the sticker on the side of the cart. The big thing is, is like when you're doing the small time deals like that, um, like small amounts, like in the fifty, hundred dollar range, you don't want to go out and get a fifty dollar sponsorship and then have to go around and get a sticker printed from a local company for five, ten dollars. Then you're like then you only really get $40. So you gotta be very cautious on that. Um, but that's where you start is people you know because they're gonna help you out. All my sponsors that I have currently on the cart, uh, Labonte Photography, What's That Like Podcast, Dexco Home, Home Renovations, those three are, are their local businesses that I've known, like, let's see, three all three of them they all have children that i went to school with and you know over time doing work around the community and stuff like that i got to know them and be friends with them so that's what it comes down to uh now if you're really wanting to push it uh you can do what you know big time you know racers race teams do and that's make sponsorship proposals i have a 15 page sponsorship proposal that goes through like an about section about me about the Ignite series, what's my price ranges, what I give you in exchange for those price ranges. 
um, just some kind of referrals like what people have said about me I've had cart racers other sponsors referrals in there some pictures you know you make it look good and I mean you don't have to be super artistic you can you know just make sure that you collect all the information and I have all my statistics from rental cart racing and that's not a bad option either is to go out and run in a rental series like here at the cartplex we have iDrive build up a resume and for me I mean I was able to learn all the ropes of well not all the ropes but a lot of driving and cart skills like that through running the rental series to the point where I won a championship and I won a go-kart for a year. So, I mean, you just gotta look at all those options. And and the thing is, is like my price point was like a hundred dollar minimum. And then I had a, a completely like, like a, a, a goal of mine was to get a sponsor to come around at like the thousand dollar price point and they would get, you know, stickers all over the cart and their own color scheme and they could pick a number and, and they could have full reign of it because I'm not super picky on that kind of thing. I could be number 22 with pink and black if Victoria's Secret came around and they're like, here's a thousand dollars if you know we're gonna sponsor you. I mean, that's how easy I am to sell. I mean, I would, I'm, I love to promote people. I mean, like I love racing and I'm going to school for mass communication. So that's like my happy zone. Like I'm, I love the whole sponsorship and, and the designing process and, and social media marketing like it's all just in my ballpark so and some people out there may not be like that so that's like where I say making this back full circle go to friends and people that you know that have local businesses and also I mean it's local businesses you're supporting local businesses that's a great thing as well so hope I didn't ramble on too much about that but I hope that also kind of points you in the right direction so Thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, I know Whiskey Love probably appreciated those answers, and I'm sure there's people out there that might have been curious or learned a couple things about getting started into kart racing from this video. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to give a thumbs up on it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, if you're into kart racing, that's all this channel is anymore, is just go kart racing. So I'm having a blast. If you guys are having a blast, I think this is going to be a pretty good channel for the next uh, coming months for sure, and uh, hopefully the next couple of years. So. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Walking like a man, heading like a hammer, she's a juvenile scam. Never was a quitter, tasted like a raindrop, she's got the look. Heavenly bound, cause heaven's got a number when she's spinning me around. Kissing is a color, her loving is a wild dog, she's got the